Hola! My name is Tony levi Klossen, and in this video, me and intern Polly are gonna try to make fast food look more gourmet. And I mean the real deal, no funky business. We went to the McDonald's, bought the actual food via the drive-thru, and then laid it out and presented it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. And just to be clear, neither me or Intern Polly qualify as professional food stylists. That is a well-respected profession that I highly admire. And I hope that in the future, I will get to work with a professional like that. When that said, with just a few steps, we are gonna make this hamburger meal go from sloppy and dull to refreshing and exclusive. So here's what we did. We're throwing out the disposable bags that we got the food in, and we're gonna use some kind of fancy plate, like some kind of tile. We're using this white table here, and we chose white to use it as a canvas to make the colors from both the food and the tiles pop in the images and video. Add that same soft light that's lighting me right now, and then we're just gonna shuffle around the tiles and the food and see what works best. And one of the keys here is symmetrical. This is not a restaurant, this is a photo shoot. We have the ability to have everything on super straight lines. Some BTS before I forget. I'm shooting video, the ratio 16 times 9, but I want to be able to crop it one to one ratio. So I've taped markers to show where 60 centimeter is because the table is 60 centimeters wide. And then I try to make everything as symmetrical as possible by measuring it up by centimeters. It's better than just eyeballing it. It makes it easier for me during post-production. I just shuffle back and forth to see what will work or not. Here are some leftover stones. I actually forgot to center it to the middle of the table. So I need to push everything to the center. So this is the setup for the shoot. We closed off the window. We have the Goldux VL150 with a newer softbox operating as the key light. We don't have a reflector, but the light source is so big and so soft that it creates interesting soft shadows in that angle. White table, super nice contrast to the black tiles placed this chair here. Try not to crash my head into this fan while taking pictures from here when I wanted to get high up. When doing flat lay photography, you don't want the perspective to be, how do you say, bendy. Like you want all the edges of the tiles and stuff to be as straight as possible. If I come close like this, it starts to look bendy in a way. Better to go higher and then zoom in. I really like how the colors from the hamburger, the chips and the stuff here is in contrast to the black tiles. Use my trusty Canon 200D or SL2 with the peak design camera strap for both video and photos. Try and experiment, get a lot of photos of the fancy serving of this fast food. And now for the final result, here is fast food done gourmet. In all, I'm pretty happy with the results. Going handheld and doing slow motion, mimicking the slider shot just with my bare hands was a big challenge, but taking your time, using a camera strap, doing several takes, it really pays off in the edit. But now over to the next segment of this video. Intern Polly's creator of choice, yeah. Yet again, Intern Polly picked out a very fitting creator. This time it's a food stylist by the name of Oscar 
Sung, 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 username Oscar Food Stylist. He has a lot of interesting posts in his grid, both BTS and final results. If we scroll down, we see nice close ups of perfectly built hamburgers. If he saw the final video, how I presented hamburger, he's probably gonna cry because the way he layered and presented the hamburgers is just pure perfection. If you like that kind of stuff, go check him out. Oscar food stylist. If you who's watching this are a creator of cool photos and videos that kind of relates to food photography or product photography, tag me PPV series so I can take a look. If you're not a creator but you're a business owner and you need somebody to do photos and videos of your super duper product, I have just the thing for you. Everyone from big e-commerce companies to small independent entrepreneurs benefits from having high quality pictures and videos of their great products when they're trying to be heard in a very noisy and crowded market. That's why I launched a new website called productphotographyvideo.com, making it easier than ever to get high-end visuals to use in your marketing mix. Whether you're looking for clean backdrops or a custom setup on location, simply head over to the site and choose the option that fits your product best. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, there is a like button down below. Subscribe to follow along. And I and Intern Polly will see you in the next video. Ciao! By the way, what do you think of these pictures? Should I change the order? Should I maybe spread them a bit more out? I'm considering changing the angle of the camera. Let me know in the comment section below.